Welcome back. Hello. We are studying Germany this week and we are going to make homemade German pretzels. I'm so excited. It sounds like a whole lot of fun. So today we need flour, we need salt, we need salt that's like in crystals that's not fine. We need warm water, dry yeast, butter, baking soda, and sugar. First, we're going to dissolve this in warm water. Okay, while well, that's dissolving, we are going to add in the bowl flour and salt together in this large bowl and form a well, which is like a, a hole in the middle of the flour mixture. And we're going to add sugar to the center of the well. All right, so we need two cups of flour. And it says we need a teaspoon of salt. I'm going to add that and mix it together. All right. And then it says make a well. So we'll make a Well in there, it says we need a half a teaspoon of sugar, and this is a quarter teaspoon, so I'm gonna use two of these. So one, two. And let's see, is this all dissolved yet? are going to pour the yeast and water mixture into the well and we're going to let it sit for 15 minutes. So I'm going to pour it in the middle. And we're going to let that sit for 15 minutes. So I'm going to start the timer and we'll be back in 15 minutes to see what we have to do next. It's been 15 minutes now, and if we get a close-up of this, you can see the yeast has been activated and it's bubbling. So exciting. And now we're gonna mix this all together. And get everything. And then we're gonna add some soft butter to it. you have washed your hands before doing this because you're probably going to have to use your hands to mix it all together. Getting that butter mixed in. It's going to take a couple of minutes. So we're going to knead it all together. If it's still really dry like this, it says you might add it, need to add a little bit more water, but just add a little bit at a time. Okay. 
now that it's all mixed, we're gonna knead the dough and mix it even better all together. That way we don't have no dry lumps of flour in there. The butter's been mixed up. I hadn't, I did have to add a little bit more water, but I think it looks good now. So I'm gonna just put it back in the bowl and it says to let it sit for 30 minutes. So we'll just let it sit for 30 minutes and we'll come back and see what we have to do next. Now 30 minutes have gone by and it's all set for us to do the next step. Now we're gonna cut this ball of dough into 12 pieces. So I'm gonna cut it in half and then I'm gonna cut it in half each piece in half again and then I'm going to cut each piece into three pieces and each one of these pieces is going to be a pretzel so we have to roll this and it says into a 20 inch rope with the ends being tapered which means they're going to be smaller than in the middle so we're just going to wiggle this down now that it's stretched out roughly about 20 inches it says to move it onto a cookie sheet that has parchment paper. We're gonna twist each one and we're gonna bring it down like this. And we have a pretzel. And now I'm gonna go and do the other 11 with my nephew and I'll be back when they're all done. We have all 12 pretzels done. We're gonna place these in the refrigerator so it builds up a skin. That's so that when we place it in the um, solution after, it will make, form a beautiful shiny coat. So we're gonna stick these in the refrigerator and we'll be back in an hour. They've been in the refrigerator for an hour now. I've just taken them out. And while they were in the refrigerator, I started a quart of water boiling and now we're gonna make our bath. So it said that I needed a quarter cup of baking soda. So it says to stand back while you do this because they're supposed to have a reaction. So. And we're supposed to wait until that settles. And it's still boiling like crazy. We'll see. It's coming down now. It says, take a slotted spoon and put your pretzel on it. And we're gonna put it in for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and flip it over. Easier said than done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we take it out and we put it on our tray. I'm going to continue doing all of them and then we'll come back. Now they're all done with their bath, we have to score them. Just make little slices on the seams. And 
And then we're gonna add some salt. I think I'm gonna do one tray with salt and I think I'm gonna wait and do some cinnamon and sugar on the other one. I'm not a big fan of pretzels with salt on them. And while they were getting a bath, I turned on the oven for 400. And they're gonna go in the oven for, let's see, 15 to 20 minutes, it says, until they're golden brown. So we'll be back in a few minutes again. Mmm, it smells like pretzels in here. And the timer just went off. And I'm gonna shut this off. And yes, they look done. Yum. Some of them have the salt on them. And if you remember, I said I wanted to do some with cinnamon and sugar. So these are my plain ones. What I'm going to do is I'm going to dip them in butter. And then I'm going to put the cinnamon and sugar on them. A little slippery. And now you have a dessert pretzel. I just can't wait to eat them. They smell and look absolutely yummy. Now, if you want a faster way of having the German pretzels, you can get a box like this. I bought these from Aldi's and they're the German pretzels. And it says that we need to Preheat the oven at 350. And it comes with a little salt packet. And it comes with six pretzels. This is great if you only want like one pretzel or, you know, you don't have as much time because the other pretzels did take a long time to make. So I think we're gonna have two pretzels today. And I can put these back in the freezer and cook them another day. And then it says that we have to spritz it with water. So we're going to spray it with water. Add a little bit of our salt crystals. In this, you can put as much or as little as you want. And then we're going to stick it in the oven. And they bake in five minutes. And then we'll have pretzels. A lot faster than the other ones. So we'll be back in five minutes. It's been five minutes now. And I take them out. Make sure you have your pot holders on because the stove is hot. Oh, look at that. Make sure you shut your oven off. Oh, those look really good. They are hot, so be careful. And now you have your pretzel. This was a lot simpler and easier, and they're good too. You could still dip them in mustard, or um, if you didn't want the salt, you could put them in um, cinnamon and sugar. But enjoy whatever way you decide to make them. Have a good day.